hello friends welcome and last week we have seen two research papers which was uh, which rocked the world almost uh, rocked the computational world so here uh, I'm talking about uh, those two research papers uh, one is the meltdown another is the spectra so these two computational uh, box or which you can say the design problem so um, one is already fixed the uh, meltdown um, Microsoft has released passes uh, Red Hat and other Linux companies they have also released the patches for the fix in the operating system but uh, one uh, has not been yet uh, fixed that is the spec tree uh, because that is a uh, processor design issue and it is a flaw in the processor design which uh, I am going to speak today so uh, let's understand what is uh, first speculative execution which uh, is a part of all the modern processors uh, uh, let's uh, see this simple code first what it does uh, here uh, if a equal to b then execute uh, this particular statement and else execute the other one c equal to c minus 1 let's see what happens when the processor encounters this uh, instructions so here if a equal to b so it uh, uh, creates a branch actually and uh, and it executes uh, a check uh, whether a is equal to b is being checked by another branch and <clears throat> before this branch could come out uh, with a, a result the processor what it does is it it try to speculate uh, that what is going to be the next possible instruction which uh, might be executed so what it does is uh, based on its previous experience if we have run this code already multiple times and based on that uh, experience what it does is it tries to execute uh, the best possible instruction and here in this case it uh, may execute also both the uh, instructions that is c equal to c plus one and c equal to c minus one so it may execute simultaneously both the statements and try to store uh, these result in a um, in a cache that is called branch target buffer and uh, so here both are st being stored both the results are being stored and uh, in the buffer and it, that is called the uh, cache memory and when this result comes out comes back and we found that uh, if a equal to b then it is a yes uh, and then the other result is discarded and if it is a no then the first result is being discarded so uh, that's what is uh, speculative execution and uh, this makes the uh, processor faster to execute before actually instead of waiting for the result it executes the code so that once it comes back it uh, <clears throat> executes the code faster so but there is a problem with that what is that what is the problem so if someone uh, if any uh, attacker uh, tries to uh, get access to this buffer or the cache memory before being discarded then even if he is this condition is not valid then still he may have access to this uh, result or, or uh, so that means there is a possible uh, uh, possible scenario where a attacker uh, an attacker is not allowed to uh, uh, execute some instructions but he will be uh, able to do so and that's all about the uh, spectre problem and uh, let's see uh, how we can create a simple POC uh, in our cloud that is I'm going to uh, create I'm going to uh, execute the following uh, C code in 
one of my uh, instance which is running on AWS cloud I have already uh, logged in to this uh, instance and here is the code if you see this is uh, I have a address specfreda poc dot c and this is the code and I'm not going to co uh, explain this code in detail but here uh, the if statement which I explained just is nothing but this victim code which is we call the victim code so even if here uh, <clears throat> the x value sometimes uh, we, uh, we first what we try to do is we try to train the processor with we which we allow value which, which pass a value of x and that is always RA size less than RA size so that the processor assumes or speculates that x will be most likely it will be less than RA size and it beforehand it executes this particular code or instruction so whenever we uh, pass a uh, x which is value is greater than array size actually before this being uh, computed we try to uh, execute this particular value and it stores the value in a, a cache memory and in uh, later code we try to access that cache that's about uh, the whole program and uh, uh, <coughs> here if you see we we in, in this particular uh, code we run a loop and uh, 1000 times so that means 1000 time we attack and in that we uh, every five uh, uh, after running five times of uh, uh, code like the instruction which is true uh, the if statement uh, in the previous uh, victim code we try to uh, give five times uh, the uh, true step uh, true um, so that the uh, check will be true and then immediately we pass a value uh, that is the malicious x and then try to get that value and uh, in that way we try to uh, get the access to uh, the uh, result and uh, result of uh, the like the secret so this is the secret and uh, this is the code uh, this is the uh, string which we try to access by <coughs> from uh, from the uh, cache memory and uh, that's what is about all about uh, this code and here all is a simple uh, C programming if you see this is we try to read uh, the memory byte and we call this program and function and this function in uh, <coughs> is again uh, in turn calls the victim function this function is being called and uh, we uh, pass the value x if you see here um, we uh, here The array size are always 16. That means, and uh, we x array size. That means x is always if it is less than 16, this will be true, and uh, this two code will be executed. But if x is greater than uh, array size, this should not execute. But when we uh, try to uh, give uh, pass a value which is malicious x which is greater than 16 in this case actually it computes this it, it the uh, it the computer the processor is uh, executes the code irrespective of whether it is x is less than or greater than uh, 16 and that is the problem so um, let's execute the code and uh, let's compile the code and uh, we can do that by gcc minus o and give the output uh, file name spec fray I give spec fray and uh, then give the uh, file name <coughs> actually this is going to fail and because we have to pass a uh, compiler uh, instruction here the compiler code 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass this particular instruction to the compiler. And now it's success. So here my output and I execute my output uh, <clears throat> file. So here if you see that uh, this particular uh, program executes and it is successfully finding uh, this each word T H E magic words are th this is the following two words right so you see this is a successful successfully uh, uh, finding the uh, each letter in the cache memory and that's what is uh, the program is all about and and uh, this is what uh, the magic words and this is uh, the string which we try to read through this program and um, uh, I'll uh, upload this code to uh, my uh, <coughs> uh, my uh, 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 github uh, page and you can download this code or you can actually search uh, the um, research two, two research research papers the spec free and actually they have given the code here and uh, here it is in the end of uh, the page spec for example implementation this is the C file uh, this is the uh, code written in C I just copied that and executed it you can do that also if you want and uh, thank you for watching my video and if you like this uh, uh, POC and uh, you like this uh, example if you like this uh, explanation of uh, speculative execution please uh, like this page like this uh, video and uh, thank you for watching I appreciate your time thank you